In an instant, a woman went from loading her car to having her legs severed. A driver hit her, pinning her between her car. Joanne Smith died yesterday from the grisly injuries suffered in that crash. KMTV Action 3 News senior reporter Jake Wazikowski joins us live with the latest on that. Jake. Jen, police say a distracted driver hit Smith while she was putting items in her trunk of the car. Her family says she was a loving woman who cared very much for her family and others. Joanne was very independent. She lived her life on her terms. 55-year-old Joanne Smith always figured out a way to do what she wanted. What she enjoyed was taking care of others and standing up for people with developmental disabilities for her job at Encore. That's what she's always been, our strong tower. Her family says she was even taking care of her brother when the accident happened last week. She was taking care of him because our brother John is in kidney failure and she was making sure he was eating. She was making sure he was taking his meds. At around 630 January 14th, police say Smith was hit by a distracted driver while legally parked in the third westbound lane of Northwest Radial Highway near 51st Street. The force of the crash severed both of her legs. She was rushed to the hospital and died four days later. I had the sense that she knew she wasn't going to make it because she kept telling us to be strong for each other. The driver, 41-year-old Lawanda Cook, told police she dropped her cell phone and was looking for it when the crash happened. Cook has been cited for not having valid registration and charges related to the fatal crash are pending. Smith's family doesn't have ill will towards Cook. When we were asking for prayers for our family, we asked that they pray for her family as well. Because in a moment of distraction, she ruined not only our family, she ruined her own family too. Smith's family doesn't believe changes need to be made on Northwest Radial Highway because signs are clearly posted. Instead, drivers need to change their attitude. Why aren't you paying attention? You know, you are controlling a vehicle that can become a weapon. You have to be aware of what you're doing. Smith's family says they're now focusing on how she lived and not how she died. They have set up a benefit fund in her name at Great Western Bank. For more information, go to our website at KMTV.com. Reporting live, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News. All right, Jake, very nice tribute to her there.